In this video, I'll show you how to determine the density of an unknown metal given the volume and mass data and use linear regression. So first, you need to enter the data in two columns. The left column is going to be the horizontal axis. The right column is going to be the vertical axis. So I'm putting volume here and mass here. The units are milliliters in grams. Uh, suppose we have seven different objects, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and each object has a different volume and of course a different mass, but assume they are made of the same metal. So we can select all this data and then click insert. Over here look for this scattered chart. And then we have uh, this graph. Now we can use a larger font size. I'm going to use 16 over here. All right, so it's bigger. And then I'm going to add the uh, axis titles. So over here, it's going to be my volume. In milliliters. Uh, what about the vertical axis? Well, the vertical axis is going to be mass in grams. Uh, and over here, the title, you can think of your own title. Uh, I'm going to say density here. Okay. And then what I will do is this. I will right click any of this data. There are seven data points here, just any of them. Right click. And then we can add trend line. All right. Over here, we'll set the intercept to zero. Well, this is because we know mass is equal to density times volume. All right, so we have that. We display the equation. We display R squared. Now we can tell this Y is our mass, X is the volume. So what's the physical meaning of the slope? Density. If R squared is equal to one, that means a perfect fitting. If R squared is zero, that means your function does not correlate with the data point. All right, and then we can change the number of decimal places here. I just right clicked a number along this axis and then click format axis, All right? And then click number down there. I don't think we need three decimal places, we just need zero because this is just for the laboring purpose. Volume, same here. Format axis, I'm going to put zero here. All right. And also, you can click here to see this plus sign. Click this. We can add data label if you want to. So all those data are here. All right. And we can add a legend. But, you know, in this case, I don't think we need a legend. And we don't need the data label. So this is good enough. All right. So this is how we determine the density of an unknown metal, given the volume and mass data. And finally, I want to tell you how I got those numbers. So in this case, I didn't just make up all the numbers. If I click here, you'll see an equation. It's B2. B2 is it, it, it's the volume here, times 19.3, that's the density of gold, times this number. Uh, what is this number? Well, this number is between 0 0.96 and 1.04. This is because this rent function will produce a number between 0 and 1. So rent times 0 0.08 is between 0 and 0 0.08. So over here, I will get a number between 0 0.96 and 1.04. This is how I generated this values for mass.